Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cam. This week, we're trying to figure out which commander from Wilds of Eldraine is best in CEDH. This video is brought to you by Dragon Shield. Check out the affiliate link down below to help support the show. So we have Nate on Yenchantress. Cam is playing not Food Chain. I'm playing Broodlord Rowan. And our buddy Huff, who is playing CDH for like the first time, is playing Talion. All right, cool. Let's do it. Let's do it. I didn't mean to copy you there. I'm sorry. That's okay. I didn't mean to copy you there. Ready? I'm sorry. Ready. Set. Set. I got it. I got Draw it. Draw for turn. Draw for turn. <laughs> is there an echo in here? <laughs> So right off the bat, you'll notice that the screen is looking a little bit wonky. Uh, that is because when I set up the recording device, a.k.a. my phone, I kind of bumped it on the way down and it got skewed and we had to stretch it out to make it fit. But we're making it work. This video is different for a variety of reasons, obviously. So we're, we're taking it as, as what it is. The C in CEDH this week stands for creative. Misty Rainforest and pass. Draw. Hlooty duty. Crack for Bayou and cast Deathrite Shaman and pass. Draw card. Spire of Industry. Soul Ring. Cast Arcane Signet. Pass turn. Draw. Dark Slick Shores. Mox Diamond. Ditching. Somatic Vista. Dolphy Voidwalker. Crack. No response. Tap. It. Untap. I'll keep. Draw. Land for turn and Tyrannus. Magic Strange. <laughs> pass turn. Draw. Exotic Orchard is my land. Lion's Eye Diamond. The Mana Vault. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw card. Gemstone Mine. Three luck counters. Mining counters. Grim Monolith. Pass turn. Untap. Draw. Judge Magistrate's a really good card. Oh, so good. Is this news? Place Blooded Strand. Talisman of Dominance. Go to combat. Swing. Sure. And pass. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Land for turn. Sanctum Weaver. Pass turn. I'll draw. Wind Swept Heath. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw card. Bloodstained Mire. Dragon's Rage Channeler. Pass turn. And a turn. I call we're all Blooded impressed Strand. with the spell. I know. <laughs> I'm going to crack my Wind Swept Teeth right now. Goes under Dothy. I'm actually going to go find a tapped. Overgrown tomb. Here's a void counter. Ooh, thanks. There it is. I was like, I'm sure you had it in here. <laughs> no, I'm gonna say this too. Here's a void counter. Thank you. Chain of vapor. The drain of magistrate. I'm gonna hard cast deflecting swat, targeting chain of vapor, trigger DRC. Surveil that to the graveyard. I'll redirect it to Dothy. So Dothy goes back to hands. Yep. Untap. Draw. And Mount Doom is in your exile because Dothy, Dothy was in exiled because yeah. of Dothy. Play exotic orchard. Recast Dothy. Pass. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Land for turn. Cast. Yeah? Yeah. And pass turn. At the end of turn, I will activate Tilted Shram into Exile Chain of Vapor, making each opponent lose two life. I will draw for my turn after I untap. Tap to Blooming Marsh and pass the turn. Untap. Upkeep. Draw card. Ancient Tomb. I'll attack off with my 1-1. One, one. You got it. That's it. Pass turn. Tune in. Untap. Draw. I'm going to main phase a Brainstorm. I'm going to do Wish Claw Talisman. Go to combat. Sure. Swing an A for three. Pass. Ten more turns, it'll be dead. That mm -hmm. will be gone. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God. Mm, Serious Sanctum. I'm going to activate Yenna to copy Sanctum Weaver. One white floating, and I'll cast Ranger, Captain of the Eos. Esper Sentinel is always the get with Ranger Captain. Almost. Not always. And I would say 99% of the time, it's the get. Only like, if you're playing white. There has to be white. a specific reason. Oh, you're... <laughs> How are you playing Ranger Captain if you're not playing white? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, white, Esper Sentinel. Go ahead. We've been playing Magic with Huff for a long time, but he has not delved into CDH quite yet. This is one of his first games, if not his first game. So I just felt like it's important to every once in a while to let him know some things of, about the format. Especially since he's the only blue player at the table right now, I want to make sure that he knows what's coming. Pass turn. All right, end of turn. I will use Deathrite Shaman to exile the Brainstorm from Huff's graveyard and make y'all lose two life again. Untap. Draw. Verdant Catacombs. Soul Ring. May I draw a card? You may not. Pass the turn. Untap. Upkeep. Draw card. I'll put Sensei's Divining Top onto the stack. Trigger Dragon's Rage Channeler. Trigger Esper Sentinel. I will pay with the extra Soul Ring. I will bin a Polluted Delta to the Void Zone. Gone. And look at the top three. Leave these on top. Tap top to draw card. Put top on top. Lose two life with the Ancient Tomb. Cast Grinding Station. Trigger DRC. I'll leave it. Go ahead. Untap. Oh, draw. It. So I'm going to swing it till. Okay. Take three. Pass. Untap. Upkeep. Draw for my turn. Stony Silence. I'm just going to crack my fetch land and uh, go get a forest and move on. I'm going to sacrifice Grinding Station to itself to mill myself. Sensei's Divining Top, Mox Opal, and Dark Ritual. They all go under the Dothy zone. 
and then I pass priority on Stony Silence. Grasp of Hate. I'm gonna take all three of your creatures. Yeah. Alright, so now I will start attacking. Go to combat. Four at oh, uh, Cameron, okay. one at Huff. Activate uh, Yenna. Should I go with Stony Silence or should I just. Uh, yeah, I have to. You basically have yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Wanna, you wanna save Grasp. Well, no, no, no. I was, oh, I was yeah, thinking yeah, that, yeah. but I can't. Yeah, you can't. Oh, to be. I need to think. I need to think here. I will, in response to the activated ability, abrupt decay the Stony Silence. May I draw a card? Um, you may not draw a card. Okay. Okay, yeah, so. Passing the turn. So here's what I'm thinking here. My Peregrine Took and Experimental Confectioner combo. I, I don't need the foods to activate in order to go through my line, but if I need to shuffle my graveyard back into my library, if I don't have Endurance, I have Elixir of Immortality in my deck. So I'm trying to think ahead as to how I'm going to be able to beat two Stony Silences, and the answer is I can't. So I need to be able to interact here, save myself up some mana, and then this way I know that I'll be able to at least keep progressing for when I can combo. Draw. Peregrine Took. Pass the turn. Untap. Upkeep. Draw card. Shatter Skull Smashing. X equals three. Targeting Dranath Magistrate. Yeah. Oh, man. I draw a card. Use one of this Dockside Mana so that you may not. Dockside Mana? One of this Soul Rig Mana so that you may not. <laughs> Cast Dockside. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ten treasures. Crack three of these treasures. Cast Rowan. Pass turn. End step. Ottawara. Try return Ranger Captain to your hand. Ooh. All right. Uh, so I did what I did <laughs> thinking that that Ranger Captain would stay there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh -oh. You killed that thing thinking like, <laughs> I need it. And then, oh, like, yep. and then I was like, oh, this. And you're like, oh, no, I messed up. And then he's, I'm like, oh, no, I messed up. <laughs> I'm good. Got it. Untap. Draw. Dibs. 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 No, me, 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 me. I said it the most. He did say it the most. I haven't first, said it at all. Uh, Dylan did say it first. Search. Cast Oracle. Nothing. 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 All right. With Oracle trigger on the stack. Demonic Consultation. May I draw a card? You... May not. I have one action that I can take. Do it. I'm going to cast Dual Caster Mage. Oh. I'm going to name Tarmogoyf. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. I have my life for a I'll all pass. Right. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I have nothing. We, we die. Right. We're done. We die. Damn. Well, that just is what happens sometimes when you are the only fastest Oracle Demonic Consultation player in a pod with no blue and a lot of stacks in play. Let's go to game two. Let's have a second game. It's a drain. It's a set. Let's do a new. Let's do a second game. Special. Special because of the set. Let's do another one. Any pre games? No yep. pre games. Yep. Pre -games. Can I go? No. I have Jones though. Oh, I saw. I thought you said no. I'm gonna tell this one. I will draw. Verdant Catacombs, and I will crack it to go get a Bayou. Dark Ritual. Make three black and use two of it for a Dalty Voidwalker. Pass the turn. Draw a card. Word Foothills. Crack. Exiled. Fine Badlands. Man of all. Pass turn. Draw. Ancient Tomb. Fell Warston. Pass. Draw. Land for turn. Forbidden Orchard. Esper Sentinel. Pass. Draw. Windswept Heath. Go to combat. Dylan, I think I'll hit you for three. Take three. Cracked my Heath and go get a, a forest. A snow covered one. Wither Bloom Apprentice and pass. Untap. Draw card. Mana Confluence. Ragavan. Pass turn. Tap. Draw. Play Marsh Flats. Crack it. Hunt around C. Cast my commander. Two is the number. And I'll pass. In the gameplay of this, we miss uh, that one fetch damage that Huff takes right now. Um, normally, one damage wouldn't matter. In this game, it might matter a little bit. Unto upkeep. Okay. We'll draw. Ancient tomb for my land for turn. I'll pass. Go to my turn and draw. Jeweled Lotus. You may draw card. You may not. Go to combat. Fill in one more time. Taking three. Crack Jeweled Lotus to cast my commander. Greta. Pass. Untap. Draw card. Nate. Yeah. Come at you for two. Take two. Finale. finale. Huh. Cast finale devastation. X equals four. May I draw a card? Obviously. Yeah. Find Shieldred of the Apocalypse. Pass my turn. This is a new one that I'm trying out. Shieldred in the 99 of CDH decks. I'm not sure yet, but it does a lot. Creates a lot of triggers. Does a lot of things. Punishes a lot of things that are very popular at CDH right now. I'm definitely thinking about this card a lot recently. Untap. Draw. You lose two. Lose two. Oh, I lose two. Swamp for turn. Laboratory Maniac. Go to combat. Dylan for three in the air. No blocks? Pass. World Detour. I'm gonna go get Sithis. On top. Okay, draw. Lose two. Land for turn. Pass Sithis. Uh, draw, you lose two. Yep. And then when you draw a card, you lose two also. 
I'm so I'm gonna give you a spear. You get a 1-1 one, one spear. Ooh. Blind obedience. I'm gonna lose another four, 2 because I'm gonna draw a card off Sithis. And then I draw one and lose another 2. Sithis makes you gain a life at some point though too, right? Yep, so I'll gain one more. And then I'll pass. Untap. Draw. Lose 2 on my draw. Play Ancient Tomb. Let's pay 2 life and cast the Calling Ritual. May I draw a card? You may draw a card. Lose 2 life. Yep. There's a Witherbloom Apprentice trigger. So I gain a life and everyone will lose one. So this is 2, 4, plus 6. With the two of us together, it's a total of 10. Seven green and three black. And even then, I don't know if this is going to work. Cast Peregrine Took. Eldritch Evolution, sacrificing my commander. Oh, man, I miscounted. I thought I'd be able to recast my commander with the mana that I had, too. So I'm just going to go get Experimental Confectioner. ETBs, I create a food token. And because of Peregrine Took... I have two foods now. I'm sorry, there's an Italian trigger on the Paragon Tuck, I should say. Yeah, so I'll lose two. You will draw one and lose two. Cast Opposition Agent. Trigger Italian. So I'll lose two. Lose two from Shieldred. Pass the turn. Untap. Upkeep. Draw a card, and I will gain two life. Pass turn. Untap. Draw. Shieldred trigger. Two, yeah. Swamp. Cast Mox Opal. I go to discard. Discard Attack Anuma. And pass. Untap. Upkeep. I will draw. Land for turn. Pass turn. In your end step. I'm going to dismember Peregrine Took. Oh no! Four. Losing four life. All right, Peregrine Took is dead. Good my turn. Ah, oh, draw land. <laughs> I'll lose two on my draw, and then I will pay five mana for my commander. I lost two. I didn't lose two of mine. Greta comes in, and I make a third. I will pass. In step, I'm going to Pyroblast Laboratory Maniac, losing a life from a mana conference. Untap, draw card, gain two. Pass turn. I also get my life total wrong around here. I, mine actually doesn't end up mattering at all. All right, end of turn. Chain of Vapor, the opposition agent. Wish, wish I had the Pyroblast. Yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> I have the response. Go to untap, head up, keep. Mystical Tutor. All right. I'm so surprised. I'm sure. Go to draw step. Shield, you lose two. Swing at camp, actually. Take three. I'll pass. Untap. Okay. Draw. Pass turn. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Pass turn. End step. Lose your life off mana confluence and flash in Orcish Bowmaster. Oh, I lost two on my draw. Oh, dude. I keep forgetting to do it, too. Mana value of two. I lose two. Draw one. And then you lose two. Yep. Orcish Bowmaster. ETB. Make an orc. And camel deal for one. Down to 21. Untap. Upkeep. Draw a card. And gain two life. Huff, I'll attack you for one. That's it. Untap, draw. Shield your trigger. You gonna play Scalding Tarn? Uh oh. Crack oh it. no. Oh, we can fetch. Wait, uh, in play... response Do it. Oh, to your fetch yeah. land. Oh. Get him! I forgot he wasn't gone. Cast opposition agent. <laughs> yeah! You can get to draw a card, though. I will draw a card and lose two. Orcish Bowmaster will trigger, which means that I will put a counter here. I'm going to put damage at Cameron's face, one cool. of it. You can search my deck. Yeah, cool. I'm going to go get this island of yours. Nice. I feel fucking unstoppable. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was dead dead, because I did it. But... Yeah. <laughs> going to pass. Untap. Okay, draw. Shieldred. Take two. Guys, created for land for turn. Girls ass. All my answer to. Pass the turn. Draw. Shieldred. Take two. This island for turn. Academy manufacturer. Nate, I'm gonna come at you with this opposition agent. Take three. Pass the turn. In the end step, I'm gonna cast Tainted Pact. Italian trigger. Dispel. Yes. I pass on Dispel. I draw one. Lose two. Lose two. And then Dylan loses two, too. Orcish Bowmaster trigger. One get one bigger. One damage to Nate's face. Untap. Upkeep. Draw card. Shieldred. Gain two. Combat. Three, three. And eight. I have a one more. Then it's gonna block. Sure. Pass turn. Untap. Upkeep. Raw. Shieldred. Lose two. Basic island. I want to see Dilly's hand. And okay. I'll pay, I'll pay four, essentially, to do it. Draw. Orcish Bowmaster trigger. I'll shoot you in the face. Yes. Cast Oracle. Right here is when it, it kind of comes up that because of this Orcish Bowmaster and the Shieldred, actually, Huff uh, dies before he gets to put this Oracle on the stack, technically. But um, the ref missed it, so it doesn't count. I didn't see nothing. Trigger on the stack. Uh, I'm also good with that. Oh. What card will you name? Rurik Thor. With Thoracle on the stack still, I'm going to cast Plunge into Darkness, which will trigger Talion. Oh. No, yeah. Get this exit. I didn't realize that was. I didn't realize you could make me do that. Well, no, your oh, no. your own commander is yes. making you do it. I'm doing it after Shit. the console resolves, so when you have no library. Plunge into darkness. I'm gonna pay four life. One, two, three, four, and look at the top four and choose one of them. Take this card, Nate. Your turn. Unless anyone's got anything. Either way, it's a great learning experience because although Talion is very good, this is Talion's one weakness is that you can kind of blow out yourself with it. Untap, upkeep, draw. Take two from Shieldred. Arbor Elf. 
past time. All right, well, I'm getting close to dead. I will pay two life to sacrifice the food to gain three life. I will go to my turn. Shield your trigger. Lose two. Lotus Petal. Activate Greta, sacrificing a food. Lose a life, draw a card. Lose two more life. Shield your trigger. Orcish Bowmaster trigger. I get a rat. I have a 1-1 one, one black rat. If I sacrifice two food, that means I should have two rats. I only think I have one rat. And rats are to me what dogs are to him. I'm going to target the Academy Manufacturer. And this gets bigger. Pass the turn. Untap. Upkeep. Draw a card. Gain two life with children. I'm going to cast Lightning Axe, discarding Villas, targeting Academy Manufacturer. Quarter Calling, X equals three. Eternal Witness into play. Return Witherbloom Apprentice to my hand. Lightning Axe on Academy Manufacturer. Kills Academy Manufacturer. Lose a life with the Mana Confluence. Cast Reanimate, targeting Villas. So Villas enters, and I will lose eight life and draw eight cards. And then, and then gain, gain 16, 16 life. Yeah. Yep. I could deem the Undergrip to come in and untapped. I'll lose three life and draw three cards, and then gain six with Shieldred. Mox Diamond. And discarding gemstone caverns cabal ritual with threshold on make five black i'm gonna cast burnt offering sacrificing villas as an additional cost yep six red and two black underworld breach onto the stack and i'm gonna cast reanimate from my graveyard exiling one two three cards activate squirrel's nest get a squirrel force of vigor targeting underworld breach and uh, the food deflecting spot redirect the force of vigor to the food and the lotus petal the camera has lotus petal is dead i will crack the food with my ancient tomb in response to net one life and float a black mana. I think you put your ancient tomb in your graveyard right now when you crack the food. It doesn't matter. Villas comes in. Lose eight. Try eight. Game 16. Cast defense grid from my hand. Burn offering from the graveyard. One, two, three cards. Sacrificing Villas. Four and four. Not the danger pact. That's the last one. Dragon's Rage Channeler. Enemy dead from my hand. On the Villas. DRC trigger though. Yes. Gemstone mine into the bit. Cast Tainted Pact. Exiling. One, two, three. All right. Let's go. I'm going to stop at Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. Play Arcane Signet from my hands. Cast Wheel of Fortune. We all draw seven. Orcish Bowmaster will trigger and deal seven to each of you. And Shieldred will also trigger. And you'll lose 14 from that when you draw. Yeah. And I'll die. gain some life. We die. That is also the main reason why I've been thinking about Shieldred recently. Being able to Wheel of Fortune and kill everyone with Orcish Bowmaster and Shieldred. I'm, I'm looking to combine these cards a lot more, I think, going forward. Yeah. So if you're leaning into a wheel strategy, this also can draw cards with Timna. So Blue Farm, maybe this is something you want to do. <laughs> Blue Farm should play Shieldred. Coming, coming at you live from play to win. <laughs> you draw so many cards with Timla in Krom. How could that be bad? Thank you so much for watching. If you like to support us directly, you can do so on Patreon, like for $100 patrons. She doesn't even go here. Joey Aarons, SoCal Acura, Stormageddon, Cool Bean Man, Luke Cook, AJ Awosebi, Demon of Rosquiz, Kawaja A. Hamid, Lauren Connell, and Baby Jeebus. Sorry, Demon, I kind of messed up there. If you want to pick up any of our merch, you can do that at playtowinmtg.com. Thank you so much to our sponsors, Dragon Shield, for supporting the show. Make sure you use our affiliate link down below to send them some love. You can find us on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram for more content. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.